Uh, you know, for the past few weeks, I feel like we've, as far as the defense, um, been getting caught too much up into scheme. So this week, uh, you know, we went back to our bases. Um, quarters hard match a lot. And the guys are just out there playing football and having fun. And that's what it came down to, honestly. Um, for the past few weeks, guys have been too uptight. You know, got to go out there and have fun with this game. Thinking instead of reacting? I wouldn't say that. I mean, I'm just, you know, just the, the, the fun in the game. Just, I mean, we've seen it in practice this whole week. Uh, guys out there laughing, you know, having fun with it. Everything doesn't have to be, you know, so uptight. What led to that? Someone, thing, someone said or something Coach Meyer said? Uh, as far as on, on the defensive side of the ball, uh, you know, the coaching staff, you know, they felt the, the, the best this whole year as far as game plan. And, uh, you know, and as far as us, you know, play, the players, um, we just, you know, bought into it and had a little fun with it, basically. How much does it help with that and, and energize the team when you go out there and get picks off the bat? Um, I mean, this is, that's a real tone setter, you know. For the past few weeks, I feel like uh, the first few drives, you know, they've been marching. We, we've held them. You know, that's, what you know, that's what it's all about. You know. First, the offense didn't punt today. Did well, it feel like you guys were sitting like on the sidelines the whole time because they were always out there? No, well, not really. I mean, even when they're out there, you know, we still feel like we're in the game. So, uh, when the offense is out there, we're, we're making adjustments on the sideline, but I mean, we're watching the game, and, you know, trying to call out plays with the offense short run. You know, so it's kind of fun. Well. Chris, Chris, what happened on that interception? I, I was rooting for you, man. I, I thought mean, you had it. Me too. <laughs> and I just dropped it. Uh, I don't make no excuses. I just dropped it. Chris, on, on, as far as being back, I've used the term that, that they're back. It just seemed like you guys were back today. Uh, do you think that's a fair analysis? Uh, we'll see next week. You know? um, it's easy to do it one week. I see, I mean, it's November now, so I see how, how it pan out for the rest of the Chris, season. After the pick six, they drove down and got to the two, and then you did what you guys normally do, which was stiffen. What What is different about you guys when you get your backs against the wall like that? Uh, it's all about 11 guys on 11 guys and see who comes out the window. Uh, it's like, you know, we just have a bunch of guys that, that wants to win so bad. When it gets to that point where it's winner or loser, you know, basically, at each position, I mean, you see it. I mean, got, we win a lot of the time. So. Urban said he didn't see this coming. You know, top 10 opponent, you guys dropped 62. What's kind of your assessment of that? I didn't see 62 to, to 3. You know? yeah, I didn't see that coming either. But I, I, I knew that we would play nine in the strong, as Coach Myers would like to say. Uh, but, uh, I don't think anyone could have predicted 62 to 3. Honestly. You talked about relaxing and re energizing. Who's the leader of the team that helps that to happen? Because I know a lot of times if guys are in their head and it takes somebody to get them out of there and make a joke or do something silly to get them back in the moment. Um, I want to say it's really one person as far as the defense. Yeah. I mean, everyone, you know, there might be a guy, you know, made a bad play in practice. We knew they should have had it. And then there's a guy right there, like, come on, like, that, that's over. Um, it's the next player. Like, that's where it all started. Do you get the same Two vibe from the offense, though? Because it seems Chris. like they were a little bit more relaxed and playing fun, like what you said. Yeah, I mean, it looked like it to me, at least. Uh, I really feel like the offense was, was out there and, uh, playing relaxed and kind of just letting the game come to them, having a little fun while doing it. And uh, when that happens, you know, scary things can happen with this team. Your um, my, my first off, um, I sent prayers to him as soon as it happened. As soon as I seen him on the ground, like, I took a knee, sent up a prayer for him. You know. In this game, I mean, it's a violent game, but you never want to see someone get hurt, whether it's your team or the other team. And as soon as he went down and I seen he was moving, you know, uh, I was only hoping for the best at that moment. You know, I walked up to him, um, told him I'm praying for him. You know, seeing him come out, I believe the second half, you know, um, it was a great film. Chris, is the next Last challenge for this for team continuing to have fun without, as the expression goes, letting your high get too high? Well, that's, that's what happened immediately. Uh, you know, you don't always, I mean, it's, it's, it's cool to, you know, have a little fun out there, but 
at the same time, you do have to take this game serious. Because if you don't, I mean, bad things can happen. You know, that's what I'm talking about, losses, and guys getting hurt. Like, you never want to go out there and take the game as a joke. At the same time, you do have to have fun with it. Because if you don't, it's game to you. That's how it is. At the end of the day, we do have to have fun with it. So if you, if you were sitting at home watching, last question, sitting on your couch watching Ohio State tonight, what would you have thought of what Ohio State did tonight? Um, as an Ohio State fan or a Nebraska fan? <laughs> Both? As just a regular fan of college football? A regular fan of college football, um, I would have been you know, super excited to see this. You know, because I mean, college football right now is, is there for anyone to take it, to be honest. You know, to, see a team, to see the way our team performed today, you know, is really exciting.